Right, just a very short video. I've just um, parked old Bertha up in a car park near Churchill, near a pub. And uh, didn't say there was any fees or anything. Um, then walked through a small, walked up a small lane, through a small wood, across a busy, I don't know if it's the A38 or the A, it could be the A38 that road there, I'm not sure. But yeah, I know it's a busy road. Um, come to Walnut House, this is, um, I'm going up to the hill fort at Rowborough, a gentler approach and in the shade as opposed to going further up the valley then climbing up the steep steps. I decided to, because I'm carrying all the water at the moment, I'm going to take it, take it slow. So, I think I have walked up it as well. I've done it a few times, this Dolbury Warren and all that, I think it is, all leading to the hill fort. But it's a gentler way up. It's cooler. Because although we've had some grey days, when I was on the Quantox the other day, it was very grey. Uh, it's still beautiful, despite the greyness, though. So I thought, now I'm going to come out and do this walk today, the hill fort, which I haven't done this. As far as I know, I might have done it in the winter. Anyway, this is Dalbury Warren Nature Reserve, Avon Wildlife Trust, securing wildlife and inspiring people. Dalbury Warren is a magnificent place for a walk at any time of the year, with views across the Mendip Hills and towards Wells on a clear day. Follow the way marked walk to discover the reserve for yourself. A special site. The hill is formed from carboniferous limestone and contains areas of rare wildflower grassland and one of the two most extensive of limestone heath in the southwest. The reserve brims with plants typical of limestone grassland such as harebell and kidney vetch which is the food plant of the small blue butterfly. It's a place of special scientific interest for its grassland, heathland and shrub, which support a great variety of wildlife. Did you know an Iron Age hill fort was built here 500 BC and the ramparts can still clearly be seen? At the highest point you can understand why our ancestors chose this site for their fort, with views across North Somerset to the Severn Estuary, Dilbury Warren is also a scheduled monument because of its long history. Right, so that's a, I might have um, recorded that on previous videos, I don't know, but it's always good to do it again from perhaps a different angle I might I might have mentioned more this time and I've got a this is the camera that I don't use very often it's really my best one but I thought I'd bring it out today and give it a little bit of a work yeah I did take it on the Quantox the other day I must admit because that's always special out there <laughs> this is becoming more and more special the more times I visit it this place more and more walks delving off there's a lot to see. So we're, what we do, basically, we're climbing up the hill fort already. And this would most probably would have been one of the main walkways up to it. I'm making most of the shade while I'm doing a bit of this hill. Um, the alternative way up, obviously if you come from the other direction, is a steady climb. But there is the short, sharp short step which I do sometimes as well but today because the weather is supposed to be getting warm I thought I'd conserve now I've got a lot of water on board at the moment my rucksack is quite heavy at the beginning of every walk and even the cameras are quite heavy at times um, and they don't lose water um, I have taken things out I'm not carting a map about, I'm not carting a, 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 a windshield 
no umbrella. So even though I've reduced quite a lot of stuff, it still feels really heavy. But it's worth it. I'm doing this in preparation for my huge walk in a week or so's time when I do um, the big hill over on, on the start of Exmoor. When I do that big hill over there near Minehead area, I will, um, Dunkery Beacon it's called. That will be the start of my new exploration further afield and new churches but I needed to get this done for this summer to make sure it's included in the 2018 summer walk normally I do a lot more mendips and there'll be a lot more done in the winter when it's n there's no cows but I do wonder whether they might keep the cows out as long as possible this time because of the heat wave and the lack of grass for them that might be a possibility if the, if the winters are getting warmer as well <coughs> alright over and out for now